Hi, hello and welcome to The Anne Her Show, season three. <laughs> my name is of course still Anne Hirsch. My show. <laughs> Today's guest is a straight shooter, a hard hitter, a no nonsense a call the spader spader, a lay it on the liner. Please welcome TV personality, radio guru, and the original Idols judge, Mr. Nasty himself, Randall Abrams. Woo! Woo! Hi, Randall. We just hug now. Right. Okay. So, um, have you ever seen the Anne show before? Uh. Sadly, not. I don't. No. Such a kidder. <laughs> it's a joker. So, um, Randall, now many people have called Simon Cowell the Randall Abrams of the UK. What do you think the similarities between you two are? Um, I'm not sure. I, I, you know, I imagine that we're the most outspoken on the show, so maybe that's it. Spoken. Mm -hmm. You're also quite attractive. Um, then the same must be said for Simon. He's not bad, he's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't have him on the show or anything. Oh. So, just so you know. Oh. Um, a lot of people, funny you should mention that, because a lot of people say that on Idols, you can be quite a meanie, quite nasty, um, and sometimes rude to the contestants, but yet they still seek your approval the most. Why do you think that is? Um, I have no idea. Imagine you'll have to get one of them on your show and interrogate them. Okay. Outspoken. <laughs> so, um, we had Gareth Cliff uh, on our show in season two. Uh, if you haven't seen it, please watch. Believe it or not, Randall's actually got a good sense of humour. He's highly intelligent, he's not a complete prick all the time, although he's painfully shy around people he doesn't know. So I thought it'd be quite nice if you made a message back and list your top 10 favourite things about Gareth Cliff. Um, Richard Nixon. That would be number one. R Richard Nixon? Yeah. I don't understand that. So Gareth, Gareth likes Richard Nixon and I, I like Richard Nixon. Okay. Yeah, Tricky Dicky. Tricky Dicky. Great guy. Changed the American landscape forever. Not for, not for the good, but you know. Yeah. Kind of said things like, you know, that he doesn't believe that, you know, they said, you know, do you think that if you do, if someone does X, it's illegal? He said, well, when the president does it, it's kind of different, you know. That's true, yeah. Um, That's quite controversial. You know, not really. Yeah, not, not really. Not at all. Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son, that's two. Sanford and Son. Um, um, uh, dogs. Dogs? Dogs. I also like dogs. Puppies, dogs, okay. definitely. Um, good taste in tuxedo pumps. Tuxedo pumps. Yeah, very good taste okay. in tuxedo pumps and shopping at Saks Fifth Avenue. So, okay. so. Uh, tequila. 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 Maybe tequila before tuxedo pumps. Though the yeah. two often do go together. That's true. That's ten. When I wear my tuxedo pumps, I always have a tequila. So. Me too. Yeah. So that's. We ten. should hang out. That's now. ten. That is ten. Yeah, yeah. now I've got it. It's ten. Correct. Now, when we announce to our millions, if not billions, of fans out there, do you want to wave to them? Maybe like, oh, like, hi, guys. Do you want to shout that and say that? I'm, I'm good. Okay. Um, that you would be on the show. We were inundated with messages, and the sort of overriding theme of the messages was that people find your deadpan stare quite intimidating. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I don't know either. Um, but interestingly enough, um, I also have a really good deadpan stare, which is something we have in common. Another one of the many things we have in common. Like tequila and, and tuxedo, tuxedo pumps. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I thought it would be um, quite nice for our viewers, Randall, if uh, we perhaps do the ultimate stare off.
just going to move on now to our quick fire round. Okay. And this part's called quick fire round in the style of Chambermaid and Elvis. So I know you're a huge Elvis fan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that just to be clear? Is that Elvis Presley or Elvis Blue? Elvis Presley. Is it? And it's not. Do you not like Elvis Blue? Or? No, I like Elvis Blue, but okay. I'm, a, I'm a huge Elvis Presley fan. So. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, so this in this round, I will ask the questions as if I'm a chambermaid, and you answer as if you're Elvis. Okay. Okay. So, um, good day, my lord, Gareth Cliff or Unate. Honey, I would I would have to say that it's something I, I really don't want to answer. Next question, my lord. Susan Boyle or Kelly Clarkson? I've just done a duet with Susan Boyle from Beyond the Grave, so it would have to be Susan Boyle. Oh, my lord, you're amazing. Knickknacks or big corn bites, my lord? Uh, I personally, I like knickknacks. Me too, my lord. What's a fly without wings called, my lord? A walk. Heinz Winkler or Kayam Tetwa, my lord? Oh, once again, honey, you know, it would be politically incorrect for me to say anything. That's why we love you, my lord. <laughs> so um, our next uh, section is called hashtag best questions ever. Let me just get out this picture. Um, this is when Angelina Jolie, she's my best friend. Mm -hmm. This is when we, we have a little band that we sometimes sing. So I've got a demo for you, which I'll just give to you. We sing songs, a lot of Elvis songs, ABBA. I believe she does like Abba. She does like Abba. Mm. They're my favourite band. So we do a lot of music together. She's my uh, best friend. She's cute. She's cute. So is she. This one. Who's your best friend? Uh, my best friend. Anelle. And oh. And she wouldn't like that. Oh, I just, I mean, I didn't mean anything. But just sorry. You got a little boo-boo on your finger here. You're wearing a plaster. Mm. What happened there? I don't know. You just put a little plaster on. No, I, uh, I, I, I hurt the cuticle, so put a plaster on. Are you, do you bite your nails? No. Oh, I bite mine, look. Look at them. Okay. Angelina Jolie or Elvis Presley? Elvis Presley. No, that's not the right answer, remember? Remember when I showed you that? So just say Angelina. Angelina Jolie or Elvis Presley? Elvis Presley. Do you know Angie's moving to Joburg for eight months? Really? Yeah, her and Brad are moving there. Because they want to be closer to me. I can imagine. That sounds good. Just want to be we'll, closer to we'll me. We'll have dinner. You and me? No, me and Brad and Angelina. No, you won't. Don't be ridiculous. So all of the idol winners are, um, are great singers. That's not debatable. But more importantly, which of the idol winners would you eat if you were stranded on a desert island and why? It's difficult. It's a difficult question, but this is the well, sort well, of show that has those questions. Um, one season we had two winners, we had Tasha Lee and we had Jason, so I'd go for that because then it'd be two meals. That's true. That is yeah. such a good answer. It'd be, like, be like a Big Mac. That would be like a Big Mac. Sasha Lee and, um, what was his name? Jason. I can't remember. It's fine, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Would you rather have to talk into a microphone on idols that looks exactly like three tiny little penises or have to wear earphones on the show that look like two incredibly sagging boobs in every episode. The earphones. Yeah, I'll just go for the earphones. Take, we made you a cocktail. I'm good, thank you. I also don't like it, it's disgusting. Anything else you want to say to me? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. I feel we've really gotten close in this interview. I don't know if you were still feeling that. Um, well, I mean, I don't know. I, I, have you got any other questions? Don't take that tone, it's my show. You have to be nice. Okay. So um, we have a little tradition on the show. It's kind of quirky, kind of different. Um, we like to keep a strand of our guests here as a little memento. Mm -hmm. So if I can just take a... I don't have enough. No, I'll just, I'll just, I'm very good at this. We've had loads of guests. Gareth's also in there. So you two can oh. play. Just... Okay, it's coming up.
Randall Abrams here. Woo! And um, you, of course, don't get a home empty-handed. Um, we here believe that science changes every day. So this is just a little takeaway. Is that a DNA swab? Yeah. Oh. Do you like it? I'll add it to my collection. Thank you. Well, you don't have a pocket there. So you just keep that. Right. And then one day, who knows? You can have more of this. Yeah, more I can of this recreate puppy. you. Yeah. Right. I can recreate this, this moment. Okay, so, right. so, so we're done now. Good. So we just hug. Just lots, of, lots of our guests at the end of the interview sometimes kiss me or right. slip me their number. Okay. Uh, or slip me tongue or whatever. So let's just see what happens. Don't, don't think about it too much. Thank you so much, Randall Abrams. There you go. Thank you. So now we just hug. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Okay, that's, that's unnecessary. That was okay, then? Thank you, yeah. Okay, so right. you just wait for me over there. We can go to lunch or something. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a like down there. And see you next time. <laughs>